What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we are opening and reviewing the new product that came out. Uh, the Sword and Sword and Shield era is about to begin, and it starts with these Meowth V Max boxes. Uh, so I did manage to pick up two of them at GameStop. They were they cost $29.99. Uh, which feels kind of high. Uh, I, I imagine you can get it a little bit cheaper at other vendors, but uh, yeah, we're gonna open up two of them. I'll let you know what my thoughts are. Let's begin. All right, let's start with what is inside the box. We obviously have the two promos, the Meowth V, the VMAX, and then five TCG packs. Uh, so five packs for $30. I feel like tip more often the price point I like to see is more like $5 per pack, and then it includes but you also get the promos. So at least from GameStop, it was a little bit more. And let's see how they did the... All right, plunger, nice. And, ooh, okay. That went very smoothly, so I do like the packaging. We have this ginormous cat. Do like how it is textured. And all right, let's take a look at these cards real quick. Meowth V, very underwhelming. I feel like if you're playing this, it's just to evolve it. Uh, so payday for 30, just one energy, and then slashing claw for 130. It is colorless. And then the VMAX, 300 HP, four energy, uh, draw three cards, 200. But this is a five prize card. So VMAXs are kind of like tag teams that you have to evolve. So we are changing up. It's not just a straight replacement. These things almost feel like um, megas in a way. Alright, so here is a code card. I believe these can be used in a couple weeks before they become standard legal. Alright, pack selection. Alright, we still have the XY, not that good. Guardians Rising is rotated, that's not that good. So we do have three packs in rotation uh, out of five. Only, yeah, so that's not great. Let's get into our first box. So we'll kind of keep in mind that I think if I did a quick Google search it's probably feasible to find these at 25 uh, the 30 obviously is just more that you have to make up in the packs and when you have two things that are out of rotation that's not a very good start Poliwhirl, Brock's Grit, Poliwag, or chance we're gonna find a Poliwrath, Charmander, Dugong is our reverse and a Chansey okay not terrible. All right, Guardians Rising. <clears throat> Don't think there's any home runs to be had in here. Even like some of the Guardians, like the Lele and stuff. I think uh, I'd rather, much rather have it in Hidden Fates than a Guardians Rising. But we have a Matang Choice Band. That's a cool card. Judo Fletchling. Petalo. Beldum, Enhanced Hammer, and then Oricorio. Okay, two wisps, but that's okay. If we're going to get some hits, we want it in the next three packs. Unified Mind, let's find ourselves a Mewtwo. That will definitely help our evaluation significantly. Alright, Azelf, Blues Tactics. Fracture, Marini, Formantis, Riolu, Purloin, Joltik, a Zygarde, and I'm putting all these in the wrong piles, followed by a Talonflame. Let me just fix my piles real quick. Okay, this this uh this particular box has been a real dud. But uh so my thought is most likely this is not going to be one of the more valuable boxes you know nothing like the trev noir pale moon gx but i it's unclear but if this if these two cards are not in the sword sword or shield base set then there is some potential to have that similar effect although i doubt it um obviously the We'll know more as like the meta develops, but it'll be kind of like a weird thing where this becomes available first and then quickly the rest of the cards will come in. So we did get a secret rare coughing, which is the best character rare in my opinion, followed by Alolan Sandslash. 
Uh, so it's kind of like there'll be a couple waves of like, oh, things are about to change. And so maybe there's a small window for this card to perform. You know, the V, the Meowth is very underwhelming, but that the Gigamax one is, I think it has some potential because, you know, obviously you can just go DCE or you can just as easily use Welder when it mixes, like can be used in almost any deck. And the ability to do 200 damage and drawing three cards cannot be, uh, is very strong, 300 HP nonetheless. All right, Ralts, Passimian, Beware, and then a Flygon. Okay, so that's first hit, looks very off-centered. And yeah, I feel like it's kind of strange. I feel like the front is way more off-centered than the back. But uh, yeah, so this first box I would say was not great. But I feel like that's going to be my evaluation of this product. Probably not great, but I mean, you know, for the first card in a new, like, whole new era, uh, you can always expect, you know, some a form, some amount of power creep as the set continues to come out. And this is like a pretty, pretty vanilla card. It's pretty simple. Just one. The V Max only has one attack. Does good amount of damage, draw some cards, but it's very simple in that way. All right, let's get into our second box. Definitely the pulls were not very good in the first one. And looks like pack selection is exactly the same, but that is by no means surprising. Got these promos again. So I guess it comes down to what are the chances that these cards, these promos, again, if they're not in the main set, and then, but like if we look back to kind of like when Tag Teams first came out, and Magikarp Warlord was the first one to come out, like those were featured in Team Up, so that both, both possibilities probably exist. All right, D-Spray, Magikarp, Ghastly, Santru, Weedle, Tangela, Caterpie, and then a Doug Trio. One thing I will say about these is they are V cards, they're not GX. So things like uh, Shrine of Punishment, Great Catcher, Power Plant, oh no, Power Plant won't affect this anyway, but you know, anything with the GX clause, this does not apply. So I feel like one of the bigger ones is Great Catcher, like you can only custom catcher it. So there would be a period of time where this is kind of like you have to evolve it, but it's just as strong as most tag teams, potentially if not stronger, um, since it is colorless. But, but it doesn't have the GX clause. All right, nothing in those first two packs, but again, we're fine with that. Three packs remaining. I think uh, let's get something like a full art or better, and then I think I'll be content for the purchase. Um, so I feel like, is this product good? My thought is probably not, but there is a off chance that it could be, these cards could just end up being very strong in the meta, and it'll kind of be like that Trev, Trev Noir effect where like the the code card and the cards combined are actually can be sold on the secondary market for more than the actual product costs uh, at thirty dollars very unlikely at 25 still probably unlikely all right grimer magnemite eevee flababe sneasel a buzzwall and then empoleon Okay, last pack. I think we're gonna need a big hit here if we want any shot to kind of like justify our purchase. But uh, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comments. Like, do you see this these new cards uh, having significant impact to the meta? And if so, why? One thing I will point out is the weakness to fighting. I don't feel like, I feel like, you know, for the period of time before Sword and Shield comes out in 
the full set comes out, there's not that many fighting decks. So I don't feel, I feel like we don't have to worry about weakness, but at the same time, it's colorless. This won't be super effective against anything. But yeah, let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, if you see what you're and whether or not this thing can compete. Uh, my initial thought is probably not, but I'm curious in trying. I'm just my concern is there's no good way to kind of like tutor these things up. All right, and nothing on that last pack. So from our packs was pretty bad. We did get a Flygon and a Coughing. I do really love like this uh, Roxy art, but for the most part, very underwhelming as far as our pulls go. Um, and so I kind of give this, you know, not a very high rating, uh, but you know, it's the first thing. It's not exactly surprising if they start things off with a very underwhelming promo. Um, but uh, yeah, that's going to be it for me today. As always, guys, like, comment, and subscribe all down below. I'm Wanna Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Then we have oh, another one that we need. So